What's going on everyone? Welcome to this, my third video in this eight part series on impactful communication on social media. In video one, I talked about Facebook and how you can take information from Facebook, take the online and leverage it offline. And I use the example of birthdays, how Facebook tells us every single day whose birthday it is. And every single day, most people just click the box and type on that person's timeline and it's not impactful communication. It's nice, but it's not the level up. Whereas you can take that information offline with a phone call or a handwritten letter and really have an impact. In the second video, I talked about LinkedIn, such an underrated platform where there is a bigger audience and that your content will get more of an ROI than on some of the other platforms. And I talked about giving people recommendations and writing published posts and leveraging LinkedIn stories. And now you're on the third video, which is about Instagram. And there are so many things I could talk about with Instagram that are underrated opportunities, but I'm going to stick to two today. And the first one I'm going to talk about is the DMs, sliding into those DMs in a non-creepy way, of course. So what is common on Instagram is for people to comment under the main photos and for conversations to happen there. But what is a bit less common is to send people direct messages and direct messages are nice because you get that little rare it's like the paper airplane icon up in the top and when you see that it's like so many things in social media you get that little dopamine hit of hey someone has taken the time to reach out to me on Instagram now my tip for this video goes beyond just simply sending a text DM which I think that in itself because so much of the communication on Instagram happens underneath photos in the comment section. So I think DMs themselves are impactful in a way, but I want you to take it to the next level. And where I think there's a really big opportunity is sending a direct message that includes video or audio. And this was an idea I got from a real estate agent who told me that every time somebody adds them or starts following them on Instagram, that real estate agent follows the person back and sends them either a video or a voice direct message, thanking that person for following them, explaining that they've followed them back and can't wait to see the content they're about to post. Why video and audio are important is because the breakdown of communication, the way a message is communicated, happens like this. If we think about 100% of a message, so 100% of the way a message is communicated, 93% of the way that message is communicated is nonverbal, so it's not the specific words that we use. When we send a text DM, we are completely reliant on the words that we use. That's all that we have, but that is only 7% of the way a message is actually communicated. The other percentage is broken up between body language and vocal variety. 55% is body language, 38% is vocal variety and tone. And I've used this example a few times for those of you who've seen others of my videos, but the example is this. Hey everyone, I am so excited to be doing this video on social media. Today we're talking about Instagram and I am so happy. Hey everyone, uh, I am so excited to be here right now. Uh, today we're talking about Instagram. Woohoo! Yeah, and uh, I'm so happy. Loving the fact that I'm here doing this. These two messages, if you took the specific words from them, were pretty similar in content, but couldn't have been further from the truth. In the first video, you got the sense that I was actually excited to be doing this video. In the second, I said all of those words, but it was very clear that I was being sarcastic, that I wasn't being genuine with that sense. And that is communication. And so when we leave out that 93% of communication, that is why so often we've received emails or gotten a text from someone and we're like, what's that person's problem? Because we perceive the message to sound negative. But the person might have been smiling as they typed that, but just didn't communicate it properly and we can't see their smile. 
So when you send somebody a direct message by just shooting a quick video on your phone, the person can see your smiling face, they can get a general sense of your demeanor, and you are going to have a bigger impact that way. Because let's face it, how many people actually do that? How many people take the time to send a video direct message? Very few. While video is the best, audio is still pretty good because people can hear the tone of your voice. It's like a voice message. You can hear if somebody is upbeat, what their general sense is there as well. You don't have the visual of it, but you can still hear the vocal tone. So that's the first tip. Slide into those DMs, non-creepily, and do so with video or audio. The other tip I'm going to give you is to experiment with Instagram Reels. In the last video, I talked about the fact that more people are consuming content on a platform like LinkedIn than they are putting out content. And this is something that we tend to see, especially with newer social media tools. So when stories first came out with Snapchat and then Instagram, there weren't a lot of people posting content with it. There was many more people observing it because they weren't really sure how to make it work or what the etiquette was. They were wanted to observe before they started posting. We witnessed the same thing with TikTok, that those who took the time to put out content on TikTok got really good ROI because others were just kind of observing and feeling out the platform. Same thing with Clubhouse, which is a video I'm going to talk about at the end of this series a lot of people observing, not a lot of people executing. So with that in mind, there is something on Instagram called Reels, which is kind of their answer to TikTok in a way. And Instagram wants to see Reels do well. What that means is the people who take the time to actually produce this content, Instagram is going to reward it by putting that in front of as many people as possible the algorithm will favor it because they want to see that do well. That's similar to live video as well. If you wanna do live video or reels on Instagram, there's that nervousness because not a lot of people do it, but the truth is you are going to get in front of a bigger audience because when fewer people are doing something on social media, often that is where we get the maximum return on our time, return on our content investment. I hope that this, the third video in the series on Instagram was helpful to you. Video one was Facebook, two was LinkedIn, three was Instagram. In future videos, we're gonna talk about Twitter, we're gonna talk about Clubhouse, which I mentioned, we're gonna talk about TikTok, all of these platforms. So make sure you subscribe, hit that notifications bell, leave a comment. What am I missing? What am I missing out about Instagram? What did you like that I said? Anything along those lines, let's get the conversation going. And if you know someone who needed to watch this video, make sure you let them know, send them the link. I would appreciate it so much. Thank you and look forward to seeing you on the next one.